So recently I have made this four way up piston translocation elevator. It is infinitely expandable and it's pretty awesome. So I want to show it to you right now. So it is very, very pretty compact actually. It is very simple. No sticky pistons involved, all using normal piston pistons, very survival friendly. And it does work. So if we go here, go into here. You can see it does work on all sides, the same wiring, the whole sides. And so I'm going to show you guys how to make it. Okay, so you want to get yourself an 11 by 11 area, mark the center. And then from the center, you need to go out four blocks right here. So on each side, so I will quickly do that right here. And then you can destroy the middle right here. And you can destroy the middle one as well. So then you just dig you go up to the height that you would like so like you want to it infinitely expandable there is after a certain amount of blocks there is a thing and i will show you how to do that so you just want to extend all four pillars up to here like that and then from there you want to get your button and put it on the bottom the second up from each one like this so then then you want to do your piston, so then you go up like this, put a piston right there, oops, done at the bottom, there you go. So, you want to put the buttons on the bottom, not the top, my bad. So then once you do that, um, put all the pistons right there, make sure they are two blocks from the ground, this is the ground level. So, like this, and then go two blocks up, put another piston, two blocks up, another piston like that. And just repeat that on all sides. I will quickly do that. And so what this is doing is it is using a bug that was introduced in 1.9. And it probably will stick around since it wasn't fixed in 1.10. So now we have this. So then what you want to do is you want to go underneath here. Underneath the button on any of these. You dig down like this. And then you have this block. And just draw them out to the middle. So do that to each one. Once you learn how to do one side, it gets pretty easy to do the rest. So just draw them out like this. Okay, and then for the final cross, you just put that up like that. So then these are indented. So then now you want to get your redstone and grab a piston, replace that with that, and then a repeater going to here. So do that to all sides like this. And then once you've done that, you get you want to get some sand or any block that has gravity and put them on top. We we're doing this so that you don't have to get slime blocks or pistons or any of that. Any of that you just you can use sand because sand has gravity naturally, so you don't need to pull that down. So then these create more stable circuits. So when we click this button, these will flash. So it'll flash very briefly, and that's what we need. So any of them work like this. So now it's time to hook up the piston. So to do that, you go, if this is the piston, you go one block underneath it like this, and you make a big cross like that. So you make a cross like that, and then you put redstone on top, and that is how you wire them up. Now to wire them up to the base, um, you grab one of these sides, it really doesn't matter, put a repeater like uh, right up here, then shift, shift and space, and put a block right there like this up to here so now if you click the button that will shoot down and you just touch that and it'll shoot it up now you if now here comes the repetitive part so this is that one tip now the next one that we do which will so do the cross again the next one will have to be at two ticks and i will show you that in a second so the next one has to be at two ticks and then it's one three and then four and then after you get to four then you have to do something a little bit weird, and I will show you how to do that. So, again, do the monostable, not the monostable, the get the redstone up to here, like this, put the repeater, do it to two ticks, like that, two ticks, and then re run redstone up to here, and then if we push the button, this one, this one, fire. Okay. Oh, yes. Right. So you have to do um, one block away from any other redstone, or it's what you just saw would happen. So... Now it's away from that redstone, so now if we click it again, there we go. So you can test that, and there we go. And if it isn't working, 
then you might need to adjust the ticks a little bit if you're on a server you may need to have this one be three then the next one be then it'll be a little bit slower but yeah and so then you just go from there and you just repeat the same process until you get to there so this one's at three ticks and just up there like this pretty much just the exact same process and then okay so here we go this is that so then if we test that they will all fire like that and oops there we go so then you get pushed up to the top okay now I'm gonna show you how to let's say you were to you want an infinite expandable from the from bedrock to sky limit so what you do is this part's a little bit weird so I'm just gonna do one for the sake of time so you just go out like this imagine that there's more over here you grab this and you have to make it a little bit longer like this and what you need to do is put a redstone right here a piston actually this is a repeater so do that a mo make a mono stable circuit put that on one tick then do this and this and that and then there you go so then what this is does is when the so what it does is this is two ticks but every time it goes up it's making the pulse a little bit longer and once it gets to four ticks then after that the pulse is too long and the piston can't push you up so then what this does is it takes that pulse and redoes it redoes it so let's give it a test if we push it we should go all the way to the top and if this happens then you just need to adjust the ticks a little bit so now we let's try that one and you might need to try to keep adding them and then eventually it will hopefully eventually let's try that one more time okay you it oh <laughs> silly me okay never mind okay so yeah you need you need to make sure you wire that up i did not and you saw what happened so now you should be taken all the way up oh if if you don't make it through that block that means you need to add a tick to that Try that again. There we go. We made it to the top. So that is the design, and now I'm going to quickly show you how to how this could be incorporated into your survival world. Okay, so here I am on my survival world right here, and as you can see, I have a circular base up here, and then um, uh, I'm working on another another disc type thing, it kind of inspired by Mumbo's third Hermitcraft season. So here's my four way thing so blah, 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 four way translocation elevator so if we click this button it'll take us right to the top and then that works for all sides and then to get down it I have a simple water down here so that works for all sides and it's really awesome I love the design so much I I will try to make it more compact it's a little bit big but it works perfectly fine for me so yeah that is it thank you for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe and bye bye Thank you.